So this problem reads, find the center foci vertices and asymptotes of 4x squared minus y squared minus 8x minus 4y minus 4 equals 0. And up here we have all the problems or formulas that we're going to need throughout this uh, problem. So the first step we have to do, since this equation is not in standard form, we're going to have to complete the square in order to get into standard form. So first what we do is we're going to put the x's together. So 4x squared minus 8x plus a blank for the other number in order for the square to be complete. We got to put the y, so minus y squared minus 4y plus the other number. And since we have this other 4 here, we're going to move it to the other side of the equal sign. So it would be 4. Now we're going to clean this up a little bit by getting rid of this 4 in the front. So 4 parenthesis x squared. Now since we took this 4 out, we also need to take the 4 out of the 8. So this is negative 8. So we're going to divide that by 4, which would be negative 2x plus blank. Now we're going to have to figure out this other number. And how we do that is we divide the number with the x by 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Then you square it, which is 1. Also, if we're going to put in a number here, we also need to put on the other side of the equal sign in order for it to work. So, we have this 4 plus, we also cannot forget this other 4 in front. So, be 4 times 1. Now, we're going to do the same thing for the y. So, negative y squared minus 4y plus the other number, which we do the same thing. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. We square that, that's 4. We also need to add that to the other side also. So 4 times negative 1. And it's negative because this negative came with the y squared. All right, now we need to get rid of, or no, we need to clean this up a little bit. So we do 4. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals, or goes into more of a completed square, which is x minus 1, x minus 1. And do the same for the y, which would be y minus 2 times y minus 2. And I'm sure you could see getting that out of this, these two. Oh, and then on the side, we need to clean this up. So this will be 4, negative 4. So these end up canceling. So this is still 4. Next, we can now, since these two are the same and also these two, we can just combine them and make them squared. So this is 4x minus 1 squared minus y minus 2 squared. Oh, and also, I also forgot to change this to a plus since the negative, you gotta need to distribute it. So this will be plus 2. Equals 4. So now, in order to get rid of this, we have to divide it by itself in order to get 1. Because the equation calls for a 1, or to equal 1. So we're going to divide this by 4. This will cancel out and be 1. And also on this side, it will be 1. So this will be x minus 1 squared over 1 minus y plus 2 squared over 4 equals 1. Now we have we are in the standard form. So now this is since this the x is in front 
in front of the negative, which is what the hyperbola requires. So that means that this is a vertical hyperbola. So we'll put that over here so we can refer back to it. And this is the vertical hyperbola formula, which is where the x is in front. So now the next step is that we can determine the hk, which is the center, which is 1, negative 2, which came from this, and the negative 2 came from that. Now next, we can find the foci, which as we can refer back to the formula up here, um, the foci you find by h plus or minus c comma k. Now we don't know what c is yet, do we? No, we don't. We need to figure that out. So we can figure out that a which is this one because A is always the first one, no matter if it's X or Y, or if it's bigger or smaller. For a hyperbola, it's always this one. So A is 1, and B is 4. And C, we figure that out by this formula up here, which is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So we can determine that, so let's see, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. c squared equals, so a squared is 1 plus b squared, which is 4. These are actually already squared from this because these two were squared already. So that equals 5, so c squared, so... Get rid of squared, you square root it. So C is squared is square root of 5. So now the foci, we can go back and find it because it's H plus or minus C, K. So H is 1, so 1 plus minus square root of 5, comma, negative 2. And there is the foci. And now we can find the vertices. And the formula for that is also up here. Vertices is h minus a comma k. So h is 1 again plus minus a, which is 1, comma negative 2. Also, I wanted to mention that the h's are being affected because it is a vertical hyperbola. Now next we can, or actually we can figure this out, so... 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, comma, negative 2. So those two are your two vertices. And the foci is 1 plus square root of 5, comma, negative 2, and 1 minus square root of 5, comma, negative 2. All right, next we're going to figure out the asymptotes. And in order to find those out, all you have to do is go up to this equation, which is for the vertical hyperbola asymptotes. So all we do is plug in the numbers. So y minus k, which is negative 2, so it'll be plus 2, equals b over a. Now b over a, so b squared was 4, so... Square root of that is 2 in order to find just b. And a, it would be 1. So plus minus b over a, which is 2 over 1, which is 2. And then x's would be x minus 1. So there's your asymptotes right here. So now we have found out all the answers for this problem. Here is the center, which is... 1 comma negative 2 foci is 1 plus square root of 5 comma negative 2 and 1 minus square root of 5 comma negative 2. Your vertices are 2 comma negative 2 and 0 comma negative 2. And your symptoms are y plus 2 equals plus minus 2 x minus 1. So there you go. You have completed number 9. 
And I hope you'll be able to figure it out just like I did.